Shut up and sit down. Welcome back, MXGP fans. We are continuing our countdown to MXGP 2019. Uh, so I want to share with uh, you guys some comments that Milestone made through their Facebook uh, their Facebook page for the MXGP video game. Um, first, though, let's take a look at the marketing that was on the MXGP Pro website. So as you can see here, under Cornering and Wet is their title of this, uh, highlighted, it says, Take advantage of the ruts to take corners at top speed and take extra care. If you don't control them, ruts can become a disadvantage. So that right there, back on MXGP Pro, they were saying that they were going to have ruts in the game. Uh, if you played MXGP Pro, you know that that is not the case. Um, I know a couple people have argued that yes, it is. There are ruts in an MXGP Pro and you got to do like full complete races like 100% uh, length. I don't think so. Um, the bikes they do not go through ruts. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the comments that uh, Milestone has posted directly to their uh, the Facebook page for MXGP, the official motocross video game. In this uh, this post here, somebody was talking about you know braking bumps, uh, acceleration bumps, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, Milestone then said that they've approved lots of things about the game, put lots of resources, and I've highlighted. They actually said ruts. We have perfected its appearance the confirmation of the ground, and we are still trying to improve the depth of each groove. They also go on to say the eye has been touched up <laughs> and it won't be like previous games. Uh, that's saying a lot. Um, they're saying that the ruts look good. Uh, they're trying to get the confirmation of the ground um, and trying to improve the depth of each, each groove itself. Um, so that just, it just tells you that the previous games did not have uh, ruts. Or I should say at least MXGP Pro didn't have ruts that worked. Uh, a lot of people have said that MXGP 3 actually did have ruts and it was the best that the series had. Um, MXGP 3, I actually skipped that one. The last one I had played before Pro was MXGP 2, so I can't really comment on that right now. All right, and here's another response uh, regarding this uh, rut feature. Uh, they're saying it's a very hard uh, to do this feature because it has to create a specific effect. Uh, reaching this level of realism is very difficult and we are making many attempts trying to make it a good feature. Well, that just lets you know that they are actually working on getting ruts in this game. So it's, it's kind of weird. Um, I know between MXGP3 and MXGP Pro, they changed engines. Uh, they used to have a proprietary engine and they switched to Unreal Engine 4 for MXGP Pro and the Supercross games. Uh, so that could have something to do with um, getting the ruts to work. Uh, whatever code they were using in their old engine doesn't work in Unreal Engine 4 the way that uh, they want it to, and it's it's taken them this long to try to work something out to get it going. And here's another response from Milestone uh, that just kind of mentions that, you know, they're working on, they've improved many aspects of the game, and they're still working on improving others, including ruts. So they are working on the feature again. Uh, they're they're trying to confirm this in the forums. All right, and just uh, another response by Milestone uh, saying, you know, they're working a lot on the deformation of the terrain. Again, it's a really a very complicated feature. Um, it's the truth. They say <laughs> getting a realistic result is very difficult, but we're trying. The developers are still considering new possibilities to improve this feature. Uh, very soon we'll give you some more updates. Uh, this, this, as time of this video I put together, this, this response from Milestone was two weeks ago. Uh, so, you know, they still got a couple months until, well, probably less than a couple months until their game goes, hopefully, you know, live when it goes for sale August 27th. Hopefully they can get this, uh, rut feature figured out by then. All right, so that's all the information I could find uh, from Milestone regarding the rut feature in MXGP 2019. Uh, stay tuned, I got a couple other tidbits uh, of news I was able to find out of the uh, Milestone Facebook page for MXGP 2019. Uh, but man, ruts. Uh, so it, it's nice to hear that they are actually working on the feature. Uh, it seems like 50-50 at this point. Um, they have something in the works, uh, whether they can perfect the feature or not. 
um, is still up in the air, I think, based on those comments from Milestone. Uh, I hope they can get us something because that's something I think all of us uh, MX guys have been wanting for a long time, and, you know, an actu- accurate portrayal of uh, ruts within these games to make it even more realistic. Um, so, I mean, look at this track. This track in the mud is just is just wanting ruts so bad to develop in those corners. <laughs> it would be so fun if you could have a realistic uh, rut system, man. Okay, so I also found this posting by Milestone uh, talking about the AI. Um, so they have been working on it. We are currently trying to make the AI more competitive and realistic. So their behavior will also be more faithful to reality. Uh, so that's good to know. Um, you know, that was a given. We're hoping that they would uh, work on the AI. We all know that realistic AI, um, at least on their Supercross games and in this game, it's not very hard for a lot of people to beat the realistic AI. Um, in Supercross, especially people resorting to Head Start Championships and uh, the big complaint about MXGP Pro, the realistic difficulty, it, it seemed like they just made the riding difficulty for the player and didn't actually make the AI any faster. Uh, you know, the physics uh, trying to control the bike was a lot harder in MXGP Pro is what it seemed like. So let's hope they can uh, do a good job on this realistic AI. All right, and our final tidbit that I was able to find in the Facebook page for MXGP, the video game, it says you can start your career with a custom rider and you'll be able to compete in MX2 or MXGP and either joining an official team or signing with a sponsor to race for your custom team. That's a big thing. Uh, That was a big complaint for MXGP Pro and the Supercross games, you could not sign with an official factory team. Uh, you know, you, MXGP Pro, you can only sign with, you know, these made up, well, not made up sponsors, but they're just technical sponsors. You're not signing with the KTM factory team or the, the Yamaha teams, you know, that are run as the factory teams in the uh, MXGP. So that's good news. Uh, let's hope that'll uh, carry over to the future Supercross games as well, so we can race for Monster Energy Supercross, uh, Monster Energy Kawasaki, um, and KTM official teams. Uh, but that's big news for MXGP 2019. Uh, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, about any of these. Uh, you know, can we trust Milestone? I bet you a lot of people will say no, we can't. Uh, we've been asking for all of these features uh, for since the beginning of these series, the MXGP games. Um, you know, being a software developer myself, I I know this is a hard job for these guys. Uh, I like to give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't think, you know, of course they're selling these games every year. Um, a lot of people call them greedy or, you know, doing cash grabs. To a certain extent, I can agree, but that's just a software game. You're going to release a yearly game for a series, a sports series like this because every year, you know, you got to bring in people. If I'm a, if I'm a new player to this series, I don't want to buy a three year old, a two year old game. I, I want last year. I want this year's game for this year's season or for last year's season. I don't want to race a few seasons ago. Um, if it's supposed to be realistic anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe for, uh, you know, so you're notified of new new information I find at MXGP 2019. Leave me a thumbs up. uh, Give me some comments. Let me know what you thought. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks a lot.